This is a corn plant. It's young, it's green, and it's hungry. But what do you feed a corn plant? And how do you feed a corn plant? Corn plants eat a lot of different things. 17 different things to be exact. Nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, sulfur, calcium, boron, chlorine, manganese, iron, nickel, copper, zinc, molybdenum, hydrogen, carbon, and oxygen. Today we're going to be focusing on nitrogen, which is the most important nutrient for corn plants, and for all plants for that matter. The form of nitrogen we're using today is called anhydrous ammonia. Anhydrous ammonia is a very dangerous product, so you have to use gloves and goggles when you're working with it. Now I could really go into depth about what anhydrous ammonia is, but that's not the point of this video. Anhydrous ammonia is just a type of nitrogen that is in a form that is available for the crops to eat. So how much nitrogen does a corn plant need? Well that depends. Conventional wisdom says that corn plants need 1.2 pounds of nitrogen per bushel produced. So you need to figure out what your yield goal is. In our area, and for most of our farms, we shoot for 200 bushels per acre. That's an attainable yield goal for us, so that's kind of what we go off of. So if you take 1.2 pounds per bushel times 200, that gives you 240 pounds of nitrogen, which is a lot. Before we started implementing modern farming practices, most farmers would put the whole of their nitrogen on all up front. Nitrogen is very mobile. It moves a lot in the soil, and a lot of times if you apply too much, it will leach out with the groundwater. So using that 1.2 number back in the day, farmers knew they'd have enough for their crop even if they lost some. And when nitrogen leaches, it gets into the creeks like this, which is bad for the environment and bad for the farmer's pocketbook. Some of those modern farming practices that I mentioned earlier include using nitrogen stabilizers, split applying our nitrogen or spoon feeding the crop, and using cover crops to hold on to that nitrogen while we wait to get the cash crop planted. We split apply our nitrogen on our farm. We put a little bit out in front of the crop and then we come back and side dress, which is what I'm doing right now, uh, after the crop is planted. That way we can do a little bit at a time. We don't have to worry about losing any and we can drop that rate down to around 0.8 to 0.9 pounds per bushel produced. Our way of spoon feeding the crop is by putting roughly a third of our nitrogen out up front with our dry fertilizer starter and with our weed control application. And then we come back with our side dress application and finish off the other two thirds. We try to stay relatively conservative and then if we need to, we can also add some more nitrogen later in the season if it looks like we're gonna have a little bit better crop. By splitting up our application, we are able to reduce the amount of nitrogen needed down to that 0.8 to 0.9 pounds per bushel. And that's good for the environment and also good for our pocketbook. So that's how you feed a corn plant. There are many different types of nitrogen that farmers can use, not just anhydrous. We like to use anhydrous because it's the most potent form of nitrogen available, and it's also the cheapest. It's very dangerous, but it's cheap. There's also liquid forms of nitrogen like UAN, which is 28% nitrogen, and there's also dry forms like urea and ammonium sulfate. In our area, pretty much all the farmers use either anhydrous or 28% liquid. Our dry fertilizer blend, DAP, has a little bit of nitrogen in it. Also, our starter fertilizer on our planter has a little bit of nitrogen in it. So you have to add up all those little forms of nitrogen that you have before you decide how much you want to side dress. So really all you have to do is figure out what product you want to use, when you want to apply it, what your yield goal is, and what rate you want to run. It's as easy as that. That's how you feed a corn plant. Thanks for watching. Hope you learned something.